Daphne here from Blue Quarry, and in this video I show you how to make a mixed media encaustic art piece. I'm starting with a 6x6 piece of cardboard or chipboard and I am laying on several coats of clear encaustic medium and then fusing them. Once I have a good encaustic base built up, I usually like to put at least three or four coats on there. I can then go ahead and add the rest of my mixed media. In this case, I am using some printed tissue paper. I place the paper on top of the surface and gently press it down. Then I use my straight edge to help me tear the edges rather than cut them so that I get a nice soft effect. To give the piece even more depth and texture and interest, I decided to add these little butterfly cutouts. I cut them out of black paper with a paper punch that I had, and then I dipped each one of them into white encaustic paint to soften the look of them and to incorporate them into the piece a little bit better. Then I decided to add some additional tissue paper to one edge of the of the board just to get some nicer contrast in there and also because I'm planning on using this piece as the cover of an art journal so I wanted to have some lighter areas on the side where I was planning on putting my binding. I use clear encaustic to adhere the paper to the surface and also to help adhere the butterflies onto the surface. And then I do a combination of scraping away and adding more wax and fusing to get exactly the look that I was going for on those little butterflies. See me dabbing on some more white encaustic paint and then fusing it and pushing it around a little bit. I'm trying to get a sort of a misty feel to the piece and the combination of the white and the clear really helped to make that happen. One thing I love about working with encaustic is that not only is your paintbrush one of your art tools, but the heat gun becomes an art tool as well. So you can lay the paint on in any pattern you want, and then you bring 
the heat element into it and everything changes. Things swirl together and sometimes they separate and they end up giving you results that you could never have achieved with just a paintbrush alone. So it's so much fun to see how the piece emerges. As a final touch, I decided to add a second layer to my two little butterflies on the top. So I took my butterfly punch and I punched out some book papers this time and added my white and my clear encaustic medium. You can see me dipping it into the encaustic just to sort of soak the paper and make it uh, a little bit more transparent and also to give it an adhesive quality so that it does stick to the, the paper that's on there. This board took me about one hour to complete in real time and although it does seem like a lot of time to devote to a 6x6 piece of art, it's so much fun while you're doing it. I don't look at it as work. When I'm doing it, I'm just playing and I'm exploring and I'm watching to see what comes out of it. So it's really, really fun. I highly recommend you try it if you've never worked with encaustic before. Once I am completely happy with the way the cover looks, I add one final detail and that's just a little splash of white encaustic paint. I'm really happy with the way this piece turned out, but even happier now that I transformed it into this hand-sewn art journal. If you want to learn more about encaustic art or how to transform your art into artful journals like this one, check out my website, bluecory.com.